All right, guys, what's up? Um, so today I want to show you guys the thing that I've been working on for about a month or so, and it is basically how to grow your own worms, how to breed your own worms for fishing. The way I did it was really cheap. Uh, it's in a small 15 quart container. Uh, it's out of the way, and I don't know if you guys are like me, but I use worms for fishing a lot. All my bait fishing for catfish with worms, uh, if I'm going for smaller, catfish, small channel catfish, I'll use worms. So for the last month or so, uh, I just tried this out. I watched a couple videos on YouTube and I just want to share with you guys how I do it. So basically, I set up this 15 quart container. I'll be making another one right now. But all it is, is a container with a lid, preferably one that um, you know has the locks on it. Soil. You know, try to get the stuff that's organic, doesn't have a lot of, you know, pesticide killers because that's what's going to kill your worms. Uh, and then just worms. Uh, and I'll show you the food and stuff later. But just to show you guys, this is a month in. And I'll show you some pictures here in a minute. So here's the worm box. Uh, I have some pictures and video of some eggs, which I'll, I'll show right here right now. You can see all the, the eggs in these pictures, and I have video of a little baby, uh, a couple little babies I have going around. So it's worked well for me, so I'm going to show you guys how I did mine. Alright, so all you're going to need for this little project is uh, any size container. Doesn't matter, I'm just using a 15 quart, because uh, it works well. It's just you know, a small little environment for them to... You know, just try it out, see if how it works for you. I start off with, if, I, if I'm doing 15 quarts, I'll do about two of these of these 30 count big red worms so you need that you need the worms and then just your normal compost i use uh, miracle grow nature care organic potting soil when you put it in here it's almost going to fill it up so that's a good size for a 15 quart container that's why i bought the little guy all together this cost me Oh, just shy of 11 bucks. I'll call it 10 bucks just for this. So let me show you how I make it. So I'll just open this up here, take off the lid. And what I'll do is I'll just open this guy up uh, and just dump all of it right in there. There we go. This stuff is nice and moist. You're definitely going to need to moisten up. Um, what I do is I just get it moist enough to where you can kind of squeeze it in your hand and maybe one or two drips come out so it's not soaking, but it's, it's nice and wet for them. Uh, the biggest thing is if you have really dry soil, your worms are not going to breed. So it's essential to have nice uh, wet soil. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get a water bottle here and drench it down a bit. And like I said, uh, there's no right amount of water, it's just playing it by, uh, by feel. And then I'll just mix it up with my hands, and I'll go from there. You're probably going to get dirty, so just be ready for that. That's the fun part of it, though. This is great, like I said, great for fishing, uh, for fishing worms, compost worms, stuff like that. And then, I'll take two of these, like I said. So there we go. It's a DMF brand. Like I said, just 30 count. I use two of those, so 60 worms. Uh, your population should double and triple within a two, three months, if, if you do it right. So all I'm gonna do is I'll just open her up and just drop them in. This is a good batch of worms right here. A lot of them you can see the egg sacs. And if you don't know what worm egg sacs are, just Google them. Um, but that means they're pretty mature, ready to go and start breeding. Uh, you know, I might be able to show you guys this one. But that white knob right there, that's the egg sac. I'll just put that second one in there. And they look like they're doing alright. Good batch of worms. And that's it guys. What I'll do, and I've already pre-drilled it, is um, I'll drill some holes uh, on the top so it can breathe. Um, they're all over. That way you're not, uh, you got good oxygen flow in there. Close it up, mist it and spray it. And uh, now I'll show you guys how to feed them. 
All right, back to my old worm box. Um, all I feed them, uh, another cheap way, and this will keep them fat and ha happy, trust me. All it is, is cricket food. Um, you can get them at PetSmart, Petco. This whole jar is four bucks, and this thing will probably last me four months or so of food. It's great because it has corn, uh, soybean, um, vitamins, a bunch of other stuff. And all I do is I just sprinkle this on top about once every, once every two days or so. Uh, and this thing was full yesterday. So they, they chowed down. And like I said, all I do is I just sprinkle it on top like this. And uh, when it's dark, they come right up and uh, eat it all up. And that's it, guys. So for 10 bucks, you guys can have your own worm breeder. Um, do your own research. This is what I've done, and it's worked for me. Uh, I'm not saying it's the right way or the wrong way, but it's worked well for me. Uh, I, I've got a lot of babies in there now growing up. Uh, and probably probably next month or so I can start filtering through and taking out the uh, bigger ones and Letting the smaller ones grow up and just letting that cycle happen Spray them down once every week or so uh, depends on you know your climate I'm in more of a humid climate over here in Arkansas, so it doesn't dry out as quick uh, Plus I have this in my garage, so it stays in a, a nice even temp um, But just make sure your worm box is moist. I can't say that enough uh, or else your worms will not really do, do too hot. Uh, so all they need is food, moisture, and just a good even temperature, and that's it. If you're doing that right, the worms will breed. This is not hard to do, so if you find out your worms aren't breeding, um, you're doing one of those three things wrong. And also, it just, you know, it takes time. It's not gonna happen overnight. Like I said, I've been doing this for a month now, and I'm just now starting to see the results of the eggs and the, what they're called cocoons, basically, I guess, in the worm, breeding world um, and then the little babies so it, it takes time big money saver for me so thanks for watching guys comment if you have any questions and I'll try to answer them the best I can and if you guys really liked it uh, give it a like up there on YouTube and uh, again thanks for watching guys